boys and girls welcome back to the youtube channel Barrington thompson here aka the teacher want to share how we multiply using base 8 and it's not as hard as you think it is it is quite simple once you follow the concept one of the concept is that you don't write a number which is the same value as the base but you can write any number between 0 and 7 not above it okay so you can write 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and seven you can't write eight or any number above it let's jump right into it and you will see how easy and simple it is to understand okay two seven equal 14 we can't write 14 so what do we do we could say okay um one times eight equal eight and the remainder for eight minus 14 is six all right so one six is going to be what you write four 14 8 plus 6 equal 14 so we put down the 6 we carry the 1 2 4 8 and 1 9 we can't write 9 so we say 1 times 8 equal 8 and the remainder equal 1 8 and 1 equal 9 All right so 1 1 would be what we write for would be right what we write for 9 so 1 1 2, 3, 6, and 1 equals 7. We can write 7. That's okay. That's good to go. All right. We put a 0 here because we're no longer dealing with the 1's position. 2 is was in the 1's position. We're now dealing with the 10th position. 3 is in the 10th position. And we put a 0 here because a 10 has 1, 0. So we put 1, 0 here. All right. 3 plus 7 equals 21. 3 times 7 is 21. We can't write 21. So what do we write? We could say, okay, how many times 21 can go into, how many times can 21 go into, how many times can 8 go into 21? Okay, 2, 3, 3 is 24, 2. 2 times 8 equal 16. All right, 16 from 21, remainder equal 5. 16 plus 5 equal 21. So 2, 5 would be the representation for 21. 2, 8, 16 plus 5 equal 21. All right, so put down the 5 and we carry the 2. 3, 4, 12, 13. 3, 4, 12, 13, 14. Although we write 14, remember we did 14 earlier, I will get 1 and 6. Okay, so we put down the 6 and we carry the 1. 3, 3 is 9 and 1, 10. Can we write 10? How do we do 10? Okay, 1 times 8 equal 8 and the remainder equal 2. 8 plus 2 equal 10. Alright, so 1, 2 would be our answer. 8 plus 2 equal 10. Remember this 1 is 8. 8 plus 2 equal 10. Alright, so put 1, 2. So 1, 2, we put it down there. Put back your operation. Your operation this time is addition. No longer multiplication. We're now adding. 6 and 0. 6. 5 and 1, 6. 7 and 6, 13. How do we write 13? 13 is 1 times 8 equal 8. Remainder equal 8 minus 13 give you what? 5. 8 plus 5 equal 13. All right? So when you're doing your multiplication, you're doing addition, you're doing division, you're doing subtraction. That's 8 minus 13 equal 5. All right? So we have 1, 5. This one is 8, 8 plus 5 equal 13, 1, 5. So what we will do, we put down the 5 and we carry the 1. 2 and 1, 3 and 1. So that would be your answer when you multiply 347 times 32 in base 8. Okay?